What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. And we're going to be bringing you some anime news. We've got some great topics today. Pokemon is going to be releasing its series to DVD. A big anime cancellation, possibly. And the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. Let's jump right into it. Alright, for all our Pokemon fans out there, we just got news that the Pokemon Arceus Chronicles is released as of today for DVD and Blu-ray. Very nice. Yeah, so you can pick up Ash's final series and journey as he is attempting to save the Sinnoh region with all his friends. Plus that last episode is just, ooh, it gets you in the feels when they play that Pokemon theme song and he finally wins. It just... Man, I haven't watched it, so I honestly will probably pick up. This honestly, one. it it got it gave me shivers when the Pokemon theme song came on because it it ends with just no spoilers, but Pikachu versing a Charizard, and oh. it just ooh, it gets you. It oh gets you. man, yeah, I uh, I gotta watch it. I'm yeah. was super excited for it, so I'm gonna have to watch that one still. We also got Solo Leveling was a series that just hit a delay, and it released a recap episode instead of releasing its standard anime episode so this week on yeah. Crunchyroll. Um, the episode was titled "This Is Frustrating," yeah, which was very frustrating. Fitting. It was pretty fitting, and I, I think more that solo the creators did it on purpose. Yeah. Um, and it sees Jin Wu answering the call of the Hunters Association to take part in a deranked gate, which was the opening of the show, yeah. I believe. Um, the series was highly anticipated and gained tons of fans over the past few weeks, with some of viewers being more critical and arguing that the premise failed to distinguish itself from preceding stories, was the exact quote from Crunchyroll. What? That doesn't... That's how I felt. That's uh, dumb. The next episode. If you thought that you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you're dumb. The next episode is set to release on March 9th and will continue the story. Okay. Um. So let's hope there's no more delays and that this wasn't a bad sign for the no. anime in its future. I gotta say the voice actors they got for this, the animation for this, everything has been so on point. This Through is the roof. right now, unless they somehow mess this up, this is 2024's Anime of the Year, anime without the, a question. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's like when Demon Slayer came out back oh, in yeah, 2021 so good or when it started. Like, this yeah, is just, somehow even better, and we haven't even gotten to the juicy stuff I just, yet. I cannot yeah. wait to see where they go with it. I would be so bummed for it to cancel before it even gets going. <laughs> All right. Uh, other than that, I got Crunchyroll Anime Awards 2024 just happened, and we got the winners of everything so far. I'm not going to go through the whole list because you got, like, best screenwriter, best actor, best, like, all that. So I'm just going to go over the main topics. I want you to give me a guess on some of them. Okay. And I'll give you what it was. All right. All right, so let's, let's end on Anime of the Year. We'll start with Best Continuing Anime Series to Date. Um... Remember, these are 2024 winners, but this is best continuing series is all So time. it could be from it's all It's like time. still going. One Piece. Yep, you're right there. One Piece took that one away. One for one. Uh, we got best new anime series starting in 2024. Or I'm sorry, these are the 2024 anime awards, but it's like from 2023. 2023. Okay, so new anime. So best new anime series. Um, uh, Cannot be... I know, that's a tough one. Ooh, that is tough. I don't know. I can't think of one. When you hear it, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. All right, what do you got? Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man. Yeah. Oh, that does Definitely make sense. worth it. That I, does make sense. That, that has earned Best New Anime Series. Yep. Uh, best Anime Film. This is probably one you haven't watched, but we definitely covered it on the show. Is it Hayao Miyazaki? Is no, I don't think so. I didn't write down who did it. So I, it's not a Studio Ghibli film? I don't believe so. No. All right, well then... No, because the R sounds way different. <sighs> Again, no idea. It's called Suzume. It was the one where there's a door in the middle of... Oh, I did watch yes. that. You I did, did watch, watch yeah, that. Yeah. That was actually really good. I uh, thought that was a Studio Best Ghibli anime film. film of the year. That yeah. was actually really good. That actually really beat out good. quite a few. I can't remember off the top of my head, but they were good anime. That so. was amazing. That was a good one. It deserves it. This one, you'll never be able to guess. Best original anime. It was Buddy Daddies. I've never seen it. 
didn't need to see it. <laughs> Doesn't frankly. sound like it's up my alley. I mean, it's best hero. original anime, so maybe go give it a watch. It's not my kind of anime, but I mean, if yeah, there's teach no superheroes, I probably won't watch yeah. it. <laughs> best animation. This is one you definitely could guess from last year. And it ha and it's not a new one. It could be a continuing one still. It's a new one. It is a season of one. Okay. Um, let's go with. My Hero Academia. No, it is Demon Slayer, Kumetsu no Yaiba, Swordsmith, Village Arc. Yeah. You're going to have to rewatch that then. Well, I mean, the animation and the fights are so good. You're going to have to rewatch that, it. Because that one specifically, if it's a Swordsmith Village one, is uh, ending on the battle with the Love ha Hashira and the Mist one. Oh, yeah. yeah Those are right. pretty good ones. I mean, that the sound one, one might be one of the best fights so far, but yeah. that was good. I mean, animation their animation's battle. always great. It too. really does. It is amazing. All right. Best main character. Doesn't say 2023, it just says best main character. Ever. That's what it says. Did the show have to come out last? Like, like it, it had to be airing last year. Okay, that's what, yeah. All right. So it couldn't be Dragon Ball. No. Because so, there was no super. Yeah. There was the weird one that I can't remember the name of. I don't the think that counts, one, but, though. Um, hmm. It's not Dragon Ball. Let's go... Nami. Nami? You're, I mean, you're close, but she's not a main character. Well, she is a main character, but the main character, Monkey D. Luffy. Oh, so Monkey D. Luffy? Yeah. Okay. All right, and best anime, uh, or anime of the year 2024. One Piece. I feel like it's just going to no. win it. it. I will say it is an anime that came out that season. Not, it is a season two. If that helps you out. Hmm. Drawing a blank. I'm going to give it to you. It is Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Oh, J yeah. JJK. Got anime of the year. I don't think Roll. I finished JJK, too. Oh, my God. It's so good. Was it good? So good. It got dark fast. I didn't finish it. I got yeah. bored for Jujutsu a second. Kaisen Season 1 kind of introduces you to the world, and it's bloody and it's action-packed, but it's not that dark. Yeah. It's more about, like, we're making friends from the weird kid kind of thing. Yeah. Season 2 continues off of it with some fun fights, and then gets, gets into murdering every main character you love. Really? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to have to go You are not going to enjoy some of the de I deaths in it, because it gets dark. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But that is the Anime Awards for Crunchyroll 2024. All right. They seem very well deserved. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, everybody. I'm The Thick Baby. And I'm W. And thanks for watching our anime news segment in the New School Gaming Podcast. If you haven't heard, we have merch. Go to newschoolproject.us and pick those up. It's first come, first serve on all the sizes, so make sure you get there fast. We will be back next week with another segment of anime news.